Son? Son, are you okay? There's been some sort of a accident. Are you hurt? Where's your mother? Shay! You must still be in shock. Uh... Shay, you need to snap out of it. Uh... Our ship has crashed. Your mother's still inside. We need to get her out. Gary! Just help me out of this sand, will you? That girl. Who are you talking about? Never mind. I'll get myself out. How did you shrink your head? You need to calm down, son. There's been an accident, and your mother is still trapped. My mother? But you're... you're not... she's really... Yes, she's really in there. And no, I'm not going to leave her behind. We're going to get your mom out of there. My... mom? I know we haven't seen you much in person lately. It's just that I've been busy outside the ship, or... Well, what I thought was a ship, in what I thought was space. We weren't actually in space? The point is, your mom is still inside the thing, and she's not responding to my calls. Help me find a way to get back on board, will you? Sure. Dad? Real seagulls. Not made of yarn. I mean, I guess I always knew my parents were people. It's just been a while since I thought of them that way. Is that really our ship? Why does it look like a... A monster? I, I don't know. I'll figure it out after we get your mother. So, if we weren't actually in space, where were we? Greetings. I am Shay of Laruna. I'm curious. If I wasn't traveling through space, then why are you speaking in an alien tongue? <coughs> Judging by your outfit, I assume you're the leader of this place? <coughs> I'd love to talk more, but I need to go help my parents right now. <coughs> hey. It's one of my Hexapal buddies. Doesn't look like he survived getting thrown off the ship. Poor guy. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. Hi, I'm Shay. I'm Carl. No, wait. You know what? Carol. My name is Carol. Nice to meet you, Carol. What are you doing? Taking a break from the husband, the kids, and that darn cloud we live on. Trying to enjoy a little fishing here, but having some setbacks. Fish aren't biting? No. Some nitwit stole every hook in town. Trying to twist this wire into a hook, but it's not working out. Did you say you had wire? I have a bunch, but I'm using it all up trying to make these dang hooks. You lived on a cloud? Yeah. But it's not as nice as it sounds. Trapped up in that fluffy, soft world. Never able to leave or do anything real. I can relate, actually. Did you see that big thing crash down out there on the beach? Mog Chathra? Yeah, good riddance. Don't have to worry about that pain in the neck showing up and eating our girls anymore, I guess. Did you say Mog Chathra ate girls? Are you sure he wasn't rescuing them? Rescuing? Huh! From what? Their loving families? Well, good luck and good fishing, Carol. Or stay fishing beats the best day in a cloud cult. Wow. Looks like something really hot happened here.
guess that's a volcano. They look so different in the ship's cosmopedia. What the? That outfit. Operation Dandelion. Are you? Are you? Me? From the future? Are you me from the past? I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is amazing. I'm not sure the world is ready for two of us. Yeah, our parents would probably agree. One Shay is enough. Yeah. Wait, who's Shay? We're Shay. My name is Alex. I don't remember ever being called Shay. You didn't grow up on the Bassa Nostra? No, I grew up on the Malaruna. Oh, then we're not... Yeah, I guess not. That's a relief. Yeah. Wait, why is that a relief? Nothing. I, I just mean the... Nothing. So, why are you dressed like me? Were you also in Operation Dandelion? Yeah, in what I thought was a spaceship. But then, it crashed, and it wasn't in space. And there was this angry girl there, and my ship looked like a monster on the outside. You know, I remember the Malaruna looked a little funny after the crash, but I just thought it was deflated airbags and fire damage. Well, if I wasn't actually from space, that will make my trip back to Laruna a lot easier. If I can get this ship fixed. You're going back to Laruna? That's where I'm from. But they said it was dying. Yeah, well, if they lied to us about the space thing, who knows what else they're lying about. My ship crashed down on the beach. Didn't you see it? Oh, that was your ship. Um... Yeah? Why? Well, I might have actually shot it down. What? Why? Well, this girl, Vela, wanted to kill the monster, Mog Chothra. And I kind of owed her one. Mog Chothra? going to get this ship back to Laruna? Well, if I can get my space conductor up and working again, he'll take me back to a previous destination, as long as I compose the right tune into his nav song. Nav song? You mean your nav scarf? <laughs> nav scarf? Was your mom really into knitting or something? Mine was all about music. Everything we did on my ship was about music. Just between you and me, I'm a little sick of the music thing. Have you seen Laruna? What's it like? No idea. I was born on this ship and my parents never showed me any pictures. But supposedly, it's dying. So, why do you want to get back there? Dying or not, home sounds pretty good after 300 years stuck on a sandcastle. Where are your parents? They lived for about 20 years after the crash, and then passed away three months apart from each other. That's one of the reasons I went into Chrysolation. But hey, maybe if I get back to Laruna, who knows? I might have some other family there. Why did they put us on spaceships that weren't spaceships? Well, we were supposed to be looking for a new place to live. But maybe we were actually looking for something else, and we just didn't know it. Did you have a strange wolf on your ship who told you to hack the controls? Weird. I did get hacking ideas like that, but I'm too embarrassed to say where they came from. Come on. Tell me where you got the idea to hack the ship. I... I started hallucinating that my cello was talking to me. It would walk around and talk and tell me to keep secrets from my mom. Did your cello have a name? Well, he called himself Merrick. <gasps> but you know I just made that up. No, no, no! I, I had a Merrick, too! He wanted us to rescue! Or... capture... girls. Those helpless creatures were... Oh, man. I'm kind of glad I never managed to rescue any now. Do you need any help getting your ship running? Do I ever. Looters have taken some critical parts. Well, maybe we have some extra parts on my ship. It's just downstairs on the beach. Shay, our ship, it... 
uh, c came to life and flew away, probably to Laruna on autopilot. Oh no. Is that... Is that... me from the past? No, Dad. This is Alex. He was in Operation Dandelion years ago. Uh, Ray Volta. Pleasure to meet you. This ship crashed here too, and now he wants to go back to Laruna. Well, I'll be... We're inside a Diamond Age Dandelion cruiser. Never seen one in person before. If we can get my ship running, you're welcome to come back with me and look for your ship in Laruna. Son, I think you've just found a way to catch up to your mother. I can whip up a batch of my special hull patching compound. Would that help? Sure would. I'll bet the undercarriage on this baby is shot. Leave it to me. I saw a tub with some good starter enzymes down on the beach. Yeah, so that's my dad. Cool. So, what else does your ship need to fly? Hmm, let me see here. Still need an electronics genius, and, uh, still need your dad to patch the holes in the hull. What else? I still need a radiation suit. Hmm. Haven't found a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam yet. And... Gotta replace my heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. Who do you think has been looting your ship? Actually, I suspect the guards outside. Something about their outfits. There aren't any guards out there. Walked off the job, eh? Man, 300 years ago, people were a lot more professional, I'll tell you what. What was it about your guards' outfits that made you suspicious? Did they look like they were hiding loot underneath? No, it was the way they were made from the same material as my radiation shielding blast curtains. Oh. What's a superconductive gyro what's it cam? A superconductive gyroscopic hypercam. A small but critical part of the ship's controls. Here, I'll, I'll draw you a detailed schematic. Okay, I'll see if I can find one lying around. So, what kind of help do you need with the wiring? I need an electrical genius who can get into small spaces, knows how to solder, and who can memorize circuit boards at a glance. Okay, yeah, that's not me. I'll find somebody. Okay, see you later. Okay. So strange. But I feel like I've seen this pyramid before. And I don't just mean a minute ago, when I was walking in. Oh, ship! It's really gone. Hey, where did all the seashells go? Filthy, lousy, sadistic... <laughs> Oops. I heard you talking. You don't need to hide it from me. Talking to humans hasn't really worked out well for me. Don't worry. I've seen much weirder stuff than talking trees where I'm from. Oh, so I'm a weird thing, huh? A freak? Does that make you want to cut me down, huh? Turn me into a stool, I suppose? No, that's not what I was saying at all. <sighs> I understand why you're mad. Stuck in one place all your life, wanting to see the world. No, that's not what's making me upset. All the murderous humans want to cut us down. Being stuck in one spot is kind of like the whole tree thing, man. Who wouldn't like that? Do all trees talk in this land? Maybe take the time to talk to them before you cut them down, and you'll find out. I've never cut down a tree in my life. Really? How'd you get your wood? We didn't use wood. My... My mom just knit everything we needed. Well, that's just the sweetest thing I've ever... Wait. What were her knitting needles made of? Plastic. Okay. I think. Do you know anything about fixing spaceships? No. That's a subject that never resonated with me. Oh. Good one. <laughs> yeah. Tree jokes are the best. 
Have you seen a mad looking girl in a tattered dress? Oh, please don't mention that demented little urchin to me. It makes me sick to think of how she made me sick. Why did she make you sick? She coveted my sap. I saw her collect it in a bucket. Oh, curse my precious fluids and all their magical hardening properties. <laughs> well, I gotta make like a tree and split. It's supposed to be a banana, but don't worry about it. Tree jokes are hard. Any talking trees over here? No? Good. I can hear you. That's an interesting smell. So unfamiliar. What the? Oh, wow. This is incredible. A real giant constrictor. My mother never would have allowed this. That must have been danger I was smelling. Feel like letting go of me, Mr. Huggy? Wow, oh, you really aren't kidding around, are you? You're actually trying to squeeze the life out of me, aren't you? I love it! So, is your plan to kill me, then eat me? Oh, amazing! Oh, that was a good one. Well, this has been fun, but oh, I, I had better be going soon. Okay, fun time's over, my scaly friend. I, oh, I hope you're not bending my friend's food. Mm, I remember reading on the ship's Cosmomnipedia that snakes hate loud noises. I don't want to have to resort to sonic violence, Mr. Huggy, but it's time to let... Go now! Oh. Uh, seriously, you better let go. Uh, not kidding around, Mr. Huggy. I think it won't be much longer now. I guess that poor snake didn't realize how many hug attacks I've been through. Mr. Huggy's all tuckered out. Don't want to leave him here where someone might step on him. In case of snake, blow horn. You're welcome, Curtis. Sounds like someone's really afraid of hugs. Oh. Great sign placement, guys. Where's the warning about the cliff? At the bottom? There's some sort of flyer in here. Hey, this is that girl that tried to punch me. Please contact the Tartine family in Sugar Bunting if you have any information about our beloved daughter. Hmm. How do I break it to them that their daughter was swallowed by my spaceship? Definitely leave out the part about it being my spaceship, for starters. Sorry, woodshop is closed. No more stools. Come back late. Whoa. Never seen an outfit like that before. Where'd you get it? My mom knit it for me. In space. Right. Hey, I get it. You don't want to reveal your source. Have everybody biting your style next week. Biting my... It's cool. I got my own thing, so... Uh... Hi, my name's Shay. Curtis. What are you making there? Art. Forged from metal. I used to work with wood, but, you know, it was getting all trendy, and the tree started talking, and there was no money in it, so I got into metal. How long have you been into metal? Oh, I've been into metal for like ever, but my kit just arrived today, so I've been like 
hardcore for about six hours. What are you forging? Well, in fact, you are the lucky one to see my very first <sighs> collectible diecast miniature. Oh. That's so cute. Cute? Hmm. Well, the catalog said it was supposed to be a wizard, but it looks more like a kitten reading a book. Dang it, did I order the wrong mold? You order your molds from a catalog? Hey, I'm just starting out, okay? It's like, I'm in the cover band phase. I want to do my own material, like, eventually. Do you have any other molds? I could only afford this one. The idea was to sell a bunch of wizards to buy more molds, but with this stupid cat, I don't know if I'm ever going to get a new mold. What does that big ladder go on your roof? There's a ladder on my roof? More like through your roof. Hmm, not sure. But I've got a hunch that Vela had something to do with it. Is Vela a friend of yours? Well, she used to come around here a lot. Had a thing for my stools. Think you could make me a radiation suit? Nah, I don't do soft goods. If you're looking for a good seamstress, though, I'd check out Mariloft. They do amazing stuff with feathers. Uh, you know. If you're into that kind of thing. Well, have fun with the metal. Later, Shader. I found this in your mailbox. Fella's family must have left that when they came marching through here. I wonder what they're still doing upstairs. There's a piece missing from this window. Oh, yeah. I lost the sun somehow. Yeah, me too. Phew, now that was a ladder. Whoa, check out these crazy clouds. Okay, for there, you're doing great. You built the new ladder. You got it attached, just like I asked. Now all you have to do is climb up here and rescue me. Brother Lightbeard, can you not climb down yourself? I've told you a million times for there. I've been up here too long. My feet are weak. They're like little teacups. I dare not use them. Now please, for there, stop wasting time. I... Uh, well, I can't, Brother Lightbeard. You know I... I... No, 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 don't cry, whatever you do! I can't! <laughs> ah, brother. <laughs> but I was just trying to take care of my family. Your family, Walter? Or yourself? I'm Shay. Want a cupcake, Shay? What's the special cause? We're raising money for an awareness campaign about her missing sister. And about the lies of the meat and fee system. Yeah! Cupcakes against lies. What exactly are the lies of the Maiden's Feast system? They told us that we had to offer maidens as a sacrifice to save our village. And we just went along with it because that's how it's always been done. Yeah, us too. But we were all lied to. Yes, yes, we were. See, Rocky? I told you it'd be easy to convince people. Why is it only maidens who are sacrificed? Great question! Thank you. We have a lot of questions just like that. So you're going to get rid of the whole system? One cupcake at a time. Each one is like a question. We go from town to town, selling cupcakes, asking questions. 
until it's like a giant snowball of cupcakes and questions rolling on and on and getting bigger and bigger until it's big enough to take down a whole mug itself. Wow. Yeah, but, you know, you gotta start small. Where are your parents? Well, my dad is in my mom's cloud shoe hut getting parenting lessons from Rocky's old man. And my mom's trying to cheer up another victim of the maiden's feast we met. A girl my sister's age. And I'm not supposed to tell anyone where my mom is, but I know. Let's just say she's catching dinner. I want a cupcake. Great. Got any money? What if I paid you tomorrow? Tomorrow we'll be in the next town spreading the truth about the lies of the Maiden's Feast. Well, bye. Good luck with the bake sale. Missing Persons Awareness Campaign and Revolution by Way of Cupcakes. That's what I said. Okay, old man. This time, you're going down. Say that. Do you guys know any place around here to get some money? Oh, I have lots of money. My dad says it's important to give it away. You want some? You're just enough to buy a cupcake. Here you go. Thanks. Why do you have so much? Whoa, Pops gives it to me to give to Harmony, but I know Harmony likes to stay light, so I keep most of it myself to lighten his burden. That'll never hold up in court. Somehow, I think you're going to end up the hero of your family. <laughs> I know, because I'm a warrior! Why are you beating up this little kid? It's not. I'm teaching him how to fight. I'm on lesson five. He begged me. What are you guys doing all the way out here? We needed to find a place far away from everybody. Some people don't like to see an old man beating up on a little kid. Or the other way around. Uh-huh. Did you guys see that bake sale over there? Yep. Frosted them cakes myself. Fastest gun in the West. Dang. Almost out of the red stuff. Well, I got enough for one more cake. I better save it. I want to make sure I have enough to make one for Bella when we find her. You frosted all of those cupcakes by yourself? I can't help it. I see a blank cupcake, I just have to frost it. I'm against this whole baker thing, but if we're gonna do it, then I'm gonna be the best at it. Like me, with fighting! Do you really need that thing? You seem pretty light on your feet. Well, I do seem to have a lot more get up and go, now that Bella's inspired me. Seeing her kick that bog red in its soft bits really put the fight back in my bones. Well, I still need the cane. It's where to keep the frosting. Okay, back to your lessons. On your feet, soldier! I am! Oh. Want to buy a cupcake? Hey, can I buy one of those cupcakes? I got money. Great! I will take that money. Here's your cupcake. The red frosting is special. It was her favorite kind. Well, actually, it's my favorite kind. But I never let her have any before. And now she's gone, so now I wish I could. Hey, Rocky, it's okay. We're going to find her. You know, she's probably out beating up some poor Mog right now. That is most definitely true. Uh, thanks for the cupcake. It's a fundraiser. For a good cause. Tell him, Rocky. They've got red frosting! Hi. My name's Shay. I'm from... out of town. Me too. I'm from Sugar Bunting. My name's Husker. This here is Walter. Walter. 
sticking with that, are you? Did you say your name was Walter? Or Walt Er? My name was lightened to Walt Er by Harmony Lightbeard. <laughs> it's not a cult thing. It is a cult thing. No, wait! It's not a cult thing. Quit confusing me. <laughs> oh, you mean that weird guy on that fake cloud over there? There's nothing fake about Harmony Lightbeard or his thra... Mm. It has stitching holding it together and a big bow at the bottom. Didn't you notice? It's pretty obvious. Have you guys seen a... a giant monster flying by here? Some people call him Mog Chothra. Not since he came to my village to destroy it. My daughter, Vela, fought him off. Can you believe it? She was so brave. She taught us all a lesson that day. Your town wouldn't happen to be named Danger System 5, would it? <laughs> no, I think I mentioned I'm from Sugar Bunting. What kind of name is Danger System 5? It sounds like something from a kid's action program. Ah, yeah. Something to entertain little kids, maybe. <sighs> Do you guys know those girls selling cupcakes over there? Yes, those are our daughters. They just met, but it seems like they've been friends for years. Watch out for those cupcakes, though. They are not the secret to lightness, I'll tell you. Personally, I only eat the frosting. The sugar keeps my hair shiny and smooth. What's this little hut for? It's my wife's cloud shoe business. She was working hard to make money, while I just worked on giving it away. She's run off now, and I have no idea where. I think I might have seen your wife. Really? Where? Don't tell him. You know what, Walter? When she's ready to come back, she'll find you, okay? <sighs> You're right. Well, see you guys later. Take care, Shay. Anybody want a cupcake? Oh, thanks, but I can't. Something about eating my daughter's face. Ah, oh, Husker. That's the best part. In fact, that's the only part I eat. I'm off gluten, you know. Maybe I should... I got you now! Oh. Hey, wanna frost this? Oh, darn! Why'd I go and do that? Now I don't have any frosting left to make a cupcake for Velma! You can give her this one. Oh, hey! Good idea! Here, you can take my empty. See if you can get it refilled, okay? Okay. Such amazing fauna on this planet. I mean, play... guards who stole Alex's radiation-proof curtains? Without admitting any wrongdoing, what's it to ya? If you give me back those robes, I promise Alex won't press charges. First of all, we didn't steal anything. 
Secondly, we're naked under here, so no way you're getting our robes. If you want them, you're gonna have to fight us for them. Are you guys looking for a tree to talk to? Because I saw one down in the forest that might actually talk back. Oh, no thanks. We know that weirdo. We're here because this is the tree with the fruit. The fruit, that is. The answer. That was really convincing, Courtney. Thanks. I did the pause just like you said. What are you guys doing up here? We are the former Dead-Eyed Druids. Misled and betrayed by a false prophet, we have come to seek wisdom from the Tree of Answers. Why do you think this tree has answers? Okay, honestly, it wasn't our first choice. We really came up here because we heard about this guru of lightness that a lot of people were following. But apparently he's out of commission. So we remembered this fruit, and since it was the answer to the riddle of Yorn, maybe it's the answer to everything. Just because the fruit was the answer to one riddle. Too many questions. This is a matter of faith. Also, we really need this to work because we've run out of stuff to believe in. Yeah, we're kind of at the end of our robes. I'll fight you for those robes, no problem. I need them to help my mom. Oh, that's so sweet. He wants to help his mother. And he's willing to beat us up with a stick to do it. No, I'm not going to beat anybody up. But I will easily disarm the both of you. I've completed several fencing missions with my yarn pals. So if you have another stick handy... We don't have any fencing sticks handy, Mr. Fancy. But if you find one, feel free to come back and try to take our robes from us. I'm going to get a stick, and then we're going to fight for those robes. <laughs> Why don't you go get some yarn instead? <laughs> yeah, we'd love to meet one of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. Yeah, that's what the Dead Eye God said. Up from a hidden pit. Mom. On guard, druids. Okay, yarn boy. Enough is enough. <laughs> You're lucky she's blind, kid. I didn't miss him because I'm blind, Courtney. I missed him because... I can see. I've been... I've been pretending to be blind all these years. <gasps> I never really had the faith like you, Courtney. But I don't have the faith, Dawn. I was pretending too, so I could be like you. What? You're not blind? No. In fact, I've been stealing and selling artifacts from the pyramid to save up money to get out of this town. <laughs> Me too! I would have left long ago. But I didn't want to leave you here. I know how much being a dead-eyed druid meant to you. I haven't wanted to be a druid for years. I want to go to school and study hotel management. I want to study graphic design and start a band. Let's do it. Let's just go. Right now? Right now. But what about our quest to find something to believe in? I did. How about you? Oh, that's what I get for learning to fence with candy canes. Better take these before those druids get cold and come back. Hey! This place is no more dangerous than one of my fake missions. Uh... Mind if I take one of these? Please, spread the word! We might just save some lives here, man! 
How's the fruit? It's a little on the tangy side, to be honest, but you know, the game is always sweetest to the hunter. So, what kind of hunter are you? I've been trying to get this fruit all day, but I had some issues, and I almost gave up. But I went to the arcade and beat my own high score on 3D Hyper Crypt, and I was like, if I can do that, I can do anything! You know? Of course. Everyone knows video games are good for your self-esteem. What's that thing you're sticking in the fruit? Oh, this little tapper thing? That's so I can skip all the skin and fiber and just drink the juice right away. Juice, you know? That way all the phytonutrients and stuff get in your bloodstream faster. For when you want to get healthy in a big hurry, man. Hey, can I borrow that little fruit tapper? Yeah, actually, I've been thinking the acid or something in the fruit is messing with the coating on this thing and giving it a weird taste. You can have it. I'll just squeeze it out natural. Thanks. Don't worry. I don't have a cold or anything. What's the big healthy rush? Well, recently I was all hung up on my own under on my underlying issues, and I had some time to think. And then this girl hit me. I, I mean, uh, it it hit me. I need to turn my life around. Then I got that high score at the arcade, and now here I am, the king of health. So why are you going to turn your life around? Well, at first, it was because of this girl, McGee. I imagined her cheering me on through each level in 3D Hypercrypt. But then when I reached the end, I realized... McGee doesn't care about 3D Hypercrypt. She doesn't play video games. No, she thinks the 3D is a gimmick. She only plays the original. But what I'm saying is that the high score, the juicing, it's okay if it's just for me. <laughs> I'm not doing this to, uh, to impress anybody, you know? That's good. So how are you going to turn your life around? Well, like, what's the next step from here? Uh, probably go back to the arcade, you know, and look for another sign. Lots of other high scores to beat, man. Drinking all that juice, don't you have to use the bathroom a lot? I'll let you in on a little secret. When you live in the clouds, you're never very far from a bathroom. Oh, there are people down below. I was just down below. Hey, watch the skies, man. I'll let you get back to your juice. Bye. inserted this tapper. Not very deep, of course. Just into the outer layer of the shell. Uh, I, I was just trying to get a sample. Uh... I was close. I'd better get out of here before she remembers to kill me. Looks like someone tied this ladder down. There's a note. Guys, quit moving my ladder, please. You're really cheesing me off. Signed, Gus. Something weirdly familiar about that bird. What happened to this place? Haven't you ever been to the Maiden's Feast? I want to say no, but I'm worried the answer is yes. Um, do you know this guy? No one should ever have to go to a Maiden's Feast. And no one ever will again, if I can have anything to do with it. I'm cool with that. What exactly is a Maiden's Feast? 
something we've always had to do. So we were told, and we believed it. We thought it a great honor. We were so happy for Vela, so proud of her, so foolish. So, Maiden's Feasts are bad then? My daughter taught us that when she fought the monster. You see, it didn't destroy the town. It just ran away. She was right the whole time, all those years. All those girls. For nothing. I'm not sure if you want to hear this, Morelia, but you're actually cheering me up right now. Is there anything I can do to help? I just want to find my daughter. To beg her forgiveness and tell her how proud of her I am. Please, please be my mother. What were you guys talking about when I walked up? I was just trying to cheer up this young lady here. But she's just starting to realize what a loser I am. You are not. Then why didn't Mog Chothra pick me? Well, uh, I'm not sure, honey. Maybe he was in a hurry. Um, who are you again? My name is Shay. I'm not from here. Listen, Twyla. It's time to move on. And do what? The Maiden's Feast is the only thing I've prepared for all my life. Well, I'm sure you're good at lots of other things. Like, uh, let me think. Algebra. Nope. Not part of Maiden's training. Swinging? You making fun of me? Not getting chosen for things? That's just mean. Fixing spaceships? No, we don't have many of those around here. Well, at least your costume is cool. Oh, thanks. Made it myself. You made that stunning dress by yourself? That's amazing, Twyla. Meh. That lot of good it did me. Do you think you could make me a costume? Huh? Oh, I think that would be a great thing for you to do, Twyla. Well, maybe if you had a pattern and some material, maybe I could whip something up. Okay, I'll get a pattern and the material and be right back. <gasps> oh, exciting! So, can you make me one of those? Oh, that's adorable. How old is your baby? Oh, it's for me. I need it a little bigger. Well, I suppose I could use this for a reference. There's my can-do gal. Just get me the material you want for your giant baby onesie and we're good to go. It's not a... Oh, never mind. Be right back with the material. Huh. Never seen this kind of material before. Can you sew it? Shouldn't be a problem. That's the spirit. Well, only one thing to do now. Twyla! Don't worry! I'll be right back! Come on, Vera! Oh. Oh, I thought my teenager was dramatic. <laughs> What's with all the feathers? Just because I was working off a pattern doesn't mean I can't inject a little personal style, does it? Dear, you are an incredible talent. What's wrong, big guy? Brother Lightbeard needs my help, but I have failed him. Also, I don't like being called big. Hi, I'm Shay. What's your name? They used to call me Fathur, but after this day, they will only call me Coward. Or maybe, if I'm lucky, Coward. Who's Brother Lightbeard? 
our benevolent leader who was stranded on his high cloud when a strange girl broke his ladder. Why can't you help Brother Lightbeard? I'm afraid to climb this ladder. Climb the ladder. You're light enough. But I'm not brave enough. Tell me more about this strange girl. She looked so light, but I sensed a heaviness in her heart. Sure enough, when she got on the ladder, it broke. I think Harmony's teachings really could have helped her. Any idea why we're able to walk on these clouds? Because the words of Harmony Lightbeard make us light. Any idea where I can get a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit? Oh, I'm sure we don't have one of those. Harmony hates anything heavy. Well, see you later. Don't give up. <sighs> <laughs> Mind if I try your ladder? You will help me rescue Brother Lightbeard? I'll see what I can do. That's very light of you. Thank you. See? Nothing to be afraid of. Wait a second. What's happening? Darn it. He looked so light. Help? A little farther for there. It's not me. Heart of gold, but he never takes anything 100%, you know? How does that big cloud stay afloat? Just like all the other clouds, there's nothing special about my cloud. Why don't you just climb down? My legs have atrophied from lack of use. Wow. How long have you been up there? Just since this morning. By atrophied, I just mean really, really stiff. Why don't you just stay up there? I need to get back to my cloud house before tea time. If the watercress sandwiches stay out too long, the bread gets a tough outer layer. Almost like a new crust, you know? And then Chef has to make new ones. It's just really not fair to him. I'm trying to get up there, but I can't reach. Don't you have something you can stand on? Any idea where I can find a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit? Hey, whoa! What are you implying? I'm naturally buoyant. I just meant you seem to know a lot about lift. Please, my lightness comes from within. Okay, see you later. <sighs> Psst, Fudera. Hello? Can you rescue Harmony now? I still can't reach him, and he's too noble to jump. Can you untie that bow on Harmony's cloud? Why would I do that? So we can use it to make a rescue harness for him. Great idea! So, how do I untie it? Can you tell me what kind of knot it is? Um, yeah, the big old nasty looking kind. Thanks. Hmm, sounds bad. I'd better go find a knot expert for advice. Yeah. Like a professional nautologist. Carol. Oh, that's so nice to hear. You seem good with your hands. You know anything about knots? Sure. Tying or untying? Untying. I see. What's it look like?
like an alligator wrestling a pretzel. Hmm. I think I know that one. Well, let me just draw you a quick diagram. Oh, darn. What? Well, I can't seem to find anything to draw with. I'm sorry. I guess I'm of no use after all. Hang on. I'll be right back with a writing utensil. Oh, what's that smell? Dad? Son? At least now we have a plan. Right, Dad? Well, half of one at least. If our ship's headed to Laruna on autopilot, and if we can fix Alex's ship and hitch a ride there with him, then all we have to figure out is... What to do when we get there. Right. What's cooking? Found some fermented biomatter here. Perfect enzymatic base for my patented hull patch formula. Only problem is, I can't add the bonding agent until I know I have the pH balanced perfectly, or the whole batch will be ruined. Dad, did you know we weren't in space the whole time? No, but I had my suspicions. In my nightly maintenance patrols of the ship's exterior, I found many anomalies I couldn't explain. Was Operation Dandelion for real? Obviously, Operation Dandelion was not what they told us it was. But why hide it from us? What were they up to? Did you and Mom know about Merrick? Who? The guy in the wolf suit, who lived in the vents of the ship. If there were someone on the ship without our knowledge, that could only be the work of the Thrushmaster, the head of Operation Dandelion. But why send an operative and not tell us? Sorry I treated you and Mom like machines. Oh, you didn't all the time, son. Until you turned 13, we didn't annoy you at all. Plus, you can make up for it by helping us get your mother off that ship. I'm going to see what I can find out. Okay, I'm going to stay here and gather my thoughts. Sir, I hope you don't intend to eat that putrid smelling concoction. Nope. Whew. Just dipping your toes in it. But sir, I... Oh my... Not to question the mission, sir, but was there some reason you stuck me into that toxic potion? Report. The mixture has a pH balance of three. Exactly. What are those, eggshells? Shells is shells, right? Actually, calcium carbonate is the main ingredient in all kinds of shells. Exactly. So you were listening to my night lectures on science. Uh-huh. How's the pH balance in there? The mixture has a pH balance of six, exactly. It has to be seven, Shirley. Hang on there, son. Do you know how acidic that fruit is? No, but my spoon will tell me. I will, with pleasure, sir. Mm, worth a shot. pH? The mixture has a pH balance of four. Exactly. Hmm. Any luck? I'm detecting a pH level of... Seven! Eureka! It's perfectly balanced, sir. Nice work, son. Now for the final ingredient. Just a small bonding and reduction agent. It's... perfection. It's so small. A little goes a long way. Come on, let's go fix that ship. I love science. Mmm, amazing. Just like my dad used to make. Let me at that hull and I'll start patching her up. Sure, uh, go ahead. Hey, can I go down there? Uh, aren't you busy helping me find stuff for my ship? Oh, yeah. What's left? 
Still need an electronics genius, and uh, I still need a radiation suit. Hmm. Haven't found a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam yet, and gotta replace my heavy duty anti gravity thrust unit. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. Hey, I got a radiation suit. Great. Hey, uh, what's up with all the feathers? Extra protection. Recent tech advancement. You don't say. Well, I have been asleep for a long time. Can I borrow your space pencil? Uh, it's just a regular pencil, but okay. Okay, see you later. Okay. So, you know this girl? Yep, that's Vela. Oh, wow. I didn't realize her family was looking for her. I wonder if they'll follow the trail up here eventually. something caught in your throat. Oh. Hey, knock that off, Mr. Huggy. Back to your tree. Mog... Mog Chatra struck down by the dead eye god. Only to rise again. This maiden's feast was a disaster. I'm never gonna be mayor now. Do you know how to build a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? I can build anything, as long as it's made out of sand. Oh, do you mean sand? Synthetic autonomous nanodrones? Because that would be great if you had some of those. No, I mean sand, as in the chief export of this fine community. Oh. I think sand is the perfect material for making spaceship parts. But can you make something this complicated? Please, do you realize to whom you are speaking? And that's why they call me Marshal Dew. Thanks. No, thank you, son, for reminding me why I got into this business. I might look like a politician, but underneath it all, I'm just a guy who loves sand. Ooh, that's good. I'm going to pass that along to my speechwriter. Hey, I found a pencil. Oh, great. Hand it over, honey. Now, what was I going to draw for you again? Oh, yeah. Untying knots. Hmm. I think I know that one. Here's a diagram. Follow those instructions exactly. Oh, you'll have a totally different knot on your hands. Thanks. This diagram is good for one thing. Untying knots. I'm just gonna put this here, okay? Hey, the forest isn't your dumping ground, human. Hey, do you know this girl? Oh God, that face, the memories. Looks like Mr. Huggy is taking a well-deserved break. Hey, Curtis, do you think you could use this as a mold? Hmm. Hey, this is a nice mold. 
What is this, a candle holder? It's a super... Because candle holders sell like crazy. I can totally use this as a mold if it's a candle holder. It's a super candle holder. Cool. Let's try it out. Hit the road, kitty. Please don't be a cat. Please don't be a cat. That's perfect. You think it conducts electricity really well? Well, not that it matters for a candle holder, but based on the metals I'm using, yes. Thanks. Yeah, you take the first one. Fair trade for this awesome mold that is gonna make me so rich. Uh, which <clears throat> I only care about because it gives me the freedom to be truer to myself as an artist. Thanks, Curtis. Pleasure doing business. I mean, art with you. I can't do that from here. Psst, for there. Hello? Let's give that knot another try, okay? Okay. She loves me, she loves me now. Okay. That helped a little. Pull off the fly's wings. Like this? Uh-oh. That made it worse. Uh, what does it look like now? Well, uh... Like a whole new... Terrible knot. Hang on. I'm gonna get a new diagram and be right back. Okay. What's it look like this time? Like nine ladybugs, flying in formation. Hmm. I think I know that one. Here's a diagram. Follow those instructions exactly. Oh, you'll have a totally different knot on your hands. Thanks. Give that not another try, okay? Make the water come out of the cup. I think I see what you mean. I think we're getting somewhere. She loves me, she loves me now. You mean something like not so tough now, are you? Huh? Make the boat go under the bridge. I think I see what you mean. It's still naughty, but now it's less naughty. I got it! Hey, get your mitts off that! What the heck? That fits your eyes! For there, get me a towel. Brother Lightbeard, what is all that stuff? I know it looks like a big hoarding junk pile. But you have to understand. I might need some of this stuff someday. But everything you said about lightness, I... I don't know what I believe. You get a line and I'll get a pole, honey. You get a line and oh, I'll Oh, this get is a bad. Pole. Hey, is that a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit right there? I have no idea. But you're welcome to take it. What? No, that's mine! My lightness! As a matter of fact, is there any place you'd like it delivered? Yep, this came from my ship. 
Someone must have looted it while I was asleep. You sure you don't want to ride over the plague dam with us, Father? No. I need to go take care of Harmony. Goodbye, space boys. That was weird. Yeah. I mean, it's nice to look young, but I'm obviously a grown man, right? Here you go, one superconductive gyroscopic hypercam as requested. Hey, that looks even better than my old one. This faux sandy texture really adds to the conductive surface area. Brilliant! Oh yeah, that's a really recent advancement in hypercams. Human? That fish up there in your branches? Can I have it? Sorry, I caught it. Until it falls from my branches, it's mine. That's the code of the trees. Hey, wanna hear a joke? Ooh, is it a tree joke? What's the smallest full-grown tree you ever heard of? Well, some say the dwarf willow, but it's really no more than a shrub, if you ask me. I've seen one no bigger than my hand. Oh yeah? What was it called? A palm tree. A palm tree? But those aren't really... Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you get a line and I'll get a pole. We'll go down to the crawdad hole. Yikes, how's that thing talking? Oh, that's creepy. Okay, just stay quiet, you. Honey, sugar paw baby mine. Shh. This fish has already been caught. It doesn't need to be rehooked. What's that? You get a lo lot of fish when you use the right equipment. You caught that fish? On this beach? What's your secret? Hmm. Maybe I'll show you sometime. Let me think about it. Ah. Okay, you've worn me down. I've decided to tell you about my fishing secret weapon. Your what? This. The hook that I caught that amazing fish with. I call it the Fish Reaper. Or Freeper. You don't say. Hey, uh, do you suppose I could borrow your Freeper for a little while? Borrow my Freeper? It's like a part of my body. I'll give it back. Sorry. Oh. Okay, you've worn me down. I'm just... But please promise to leave some fish in the ocean for future generations. Thanks, kid. Guess I don't need this anymore. Come to Carol, my beauty. Conductive gyroscopic hypercam in action, man. Works like crazy. Now look at that. Hmm. Looks like this little guy lost all his low-level wiring. That explains why he's out cold. To here. Let's try this pattern. Huh. 
It's not exactly the same shape, but maybe if I turn it... I see. My wiring helped. Terminal goes. Where's the shot? Not sure what that means. Let's try this pattern. shouldn't be connected. That's more like it. Where's the shot? Not sure with that. There, that's what I meant. Here goes nothing. Put this here, that's all my wire. That looks mostly right. I hope direction of the wires doesn't matter. Okay. And that's all the wire I have. I have a good feeling about that pattern. But I don't know why. Glad to have you back. Hey, how about this little guy? I think he wants to help. Wow, look at him go. Oh, and he knows electronics. Great. He might just be the genius I was looking for. Yep, and they do windows. Well, I couldn't patch everything, but the main living areas should hold together now. Well then, that means this ship is ready to fly to Laruna. How about you guys? I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Stop. You aren't going anywhere. Who are you guys? Fellas family, we've been talking to people. And we've connected some dots. When Mob Chothra ate my sister, he barfed you up. Please tell us where our daughter is. She's... She's gone beyond the plague dam. We're all going after her. Who's we? Sounds like all of us. Yeah, um, I had already initiated launch, but, um, nice to meet you guys. I'm a friend of your daughter's. Jedi God has truly risen and exposed a whole new segment of beachfront property for development. Looks like this day turned out okay after all. <laughs> <laughs>